Hello, Villa Tappers. It's me, Hello Arthur here, and today I am coming back for another video on the Cirque de Springfield update. And so today I'm actually going to be giving donut saving tips and tricks. So yeah, as usual, I'll be going through each and every prize, and yeah, basically telling you if it's rare. So basically, we'll to assess whether it's rare, we're going to be looking at whether it's in the yearbook mystery box or not, because the yearbook mystery box allows you to get loads and loads of items for 30 donuts at any time, and makes the prizes that are in it less common. And yeah, so you might want that might influence your decisions in purchasing certain things. So let's actually get started. Let's have a look. At the store, so we've got Mr. McGregor, and so that one is obviously an in-app purchase for nine donuts. But what I always say about in-app purchases is that it's better, that, you know, if you're going to spend money, then perhaps choose a better time of the year to do it. Maybe perhaps Black Friday if you want to save money, because you're going to get absolutely tons more out of your money if you want to spend it then. And yeah, as always, if you've got to make a purchase of donuts, make one big purchase instead of loads of little ones. So yeah, there's my advice on that. And so. We have the Bunsen and Bailey Circus, and so that is obviously the first um, event premium character for 150 donuts. And so obviously that is, is yeah, going to be rare, not available anywhere else as of yet, may return in the future. But yeah, do feel free to get that one, but I wouldn't advise getting it if you're a newer player to the game. So yes, so let's have a look inside the history mystery box. So here we go. So... We have the Botanical Garden, and I believe that one, along with the Whale and Up Up Buffet, are in the Epic Mystery Box. Then we've got the Zenith, Zenith City Times, Canadian Border, and the Canadian Border, and Nero's Palace Casino. Those are not in the Epic Mystery Box. And then we've got the Shuttle Hanger, the Krusty Burger. Shuttle Hanger, the, Krus the Krusty Burger, Rear Days in Nero. Those are definitely in the Epic Mystery Box. We've got the Tourist Information Centre. We have Game and Moe's, the Lucky Casino, KTV Building, Cletus's Dice Den. That could be in the Yearbook Mystery Box. I think, in fact, Cletus's Dice Den actually isn't. Okay, so with all of these, Tourist Information Centre to Cletus's Di Dice Den are not in the Yearbook Mystery Box. So there we go. So, yeah. Then we've got Brandine, who is in the Yearbook Mystery Box, along with the Impulse Wedding Chapel, the Juvenile Correction Facility, the Beach House, the Lift Waffles, Sip Sap and Zara, the Shishi Lounge, the Coconut Babaloo as well. And then uh, we've got the Reward Center and Homer's House of Cards, which are not in the Yearbook Mystery Box. Then we've got the Humeji Castle, Howard's Flowers, the Britannia Casino, Rad Station Air Fortress, those are all uh, in the Yearbook Mystery Box. And then we've got the books, books and additional books. That isn't in the Yearbook Mystery Box. Then we've got tar pits, a refrigeratorium, and yep, the Burn State Prison as well. Those are in the Yearbook Mystery Box. And we've got the Bastille, Captain Walter Say's boat. Those are not in the Yearbook Mystery Box. And then we've got the Crap Silo, the Space Training Center, and the Filthy Angels Orphanage. Those are in the Yearbook Mystery Box. Then we've got Ziff Bouvier Mansion, Springfield Airport, Burns Casino. Yep, so those aren't in the Yearbook Mystery Box. Then we've got Madam Chow's National Bank of Springfield. Those are in the Yearbook Mystery Box. Then we've got Mega Church, Hard Lad Nightclub, the Ziff Wedding Home. Yep, so those are not in the Yearbook Mystery Box. And then the last two are in the Yearbook Mystery Box. So there we go. So I'm sorry that that was a bit fast, but... um. I do like to kind of speed through that, so do advise maybe going back and listening to certain things. And the reason why I do go through the mystery box is to basically give you an idea of how much rare stuff there actually is, and because a lot of the stuff in that box you can get from the yearbook mystery box. And whilst there are some rare things, it, if you're a lower level player, it's probably not worth investing into that box. But once you start getting more donuts, you're probably going to lean on the side of getting some tokens. And so with the tokens, obviously, you're going to get one extra token for 60 donuts less if you get the five uh, token bundle, because for getting the individual tokens for 60 donuts, you can only get four. But if you uh, spend 240 donuts, you're going to be able to get an extra one for free. 
So yes, so moving on. So we've got the Freak Show tent. So that is in the Ibit Mushroom Box for 30 donuts. So yeah, don't don't go for that one here. Then we've got Strong Man Homer. And you can save 20 donuts by getting that one in the Ibit Mushroom Box. So then next up we have Cirque de Puree, Travelling Circus, Clown Face, Master Hypnotist Tent. Those are not in the Ibit Mystery Box, and yeah, they're really rare, rare um, items. So there we go. We've got Senor Ding Dong, Stilwell Fiesta. Um, I think the Safari the F Safari Casino and the Chinese Acrobatic Theatre, I believe. Senor Ding Dong, Stilwell Fiesta is definitely in the Ibit, Ibit Mystery Box, and Chinese Acrobatic Theatre is definitely in it as well. Um, I'm just going to have a check. Yeah, the Chinese Acrobatic Theatre's in it. The Safari Casino isn't, so that is a, a limited time thing. So then we've got the Carnival Float. Look at that. So, yeah, that is in the Ibit Mystery Box. We've got Mermaid Pet and Zoo. That is a really nice one. And I know it's not in the Ibit Mystery Box as well. 30 Donuts, that's a pretty cool one. And the Kitchen Carnival, I think that is not in the Ibit Mystery Box. On the other hand, we've got the Twirl and Hurl and the Paralyzer. Those are in the Ibit Mystery Box, and you're going to be saving loads of donuts by um, getting those ones elsewhere. Then we've got the Pagan Stage. That is not in the Abit Mystery Box, along with all these tents. And look, Dunk the Monk as well, that's not in there. We've got Rockin' Ark, which, um, yeah, I wouldn't really advise getting that one on its own. I wouldn't get the Rockin' Ark, because you can get that in the Praise Land bundle. And yeah, if you... Yes, and you'll probably be able to unlock the Praise Land bundle in the future, so I would not get the Rocking Ark. And the Pies of a Gun booth and the Bull Pit, those are in the Ibit Mystery Box, so you can save loads of donuts by not getting them here. And by the way, the things that I say are in the Ibit Mystery Box in the event store, I highly recommend not getting them from here, because uh, you can get them at any time, and it's just ridiculous, the pricing that they put on the content in the store. And yeah, and it's not rare, so yeah, don't get the things that aren't in the Ibit, but are in the Ibit Mystery Box from the event store. And get them from the Ibit Mystery Box instead. So next we have the Carnival Banner Bundle, the King Chili Tent. And those are not in the Ibit Mystery Box. And therefore I advise getting. And then lastly we have the Butterfly Tent, Freak the Bill, Chopper Ride and the Giant Ferris Wheel. Which are all in the Ibit Mystery Box. Apart from the Butterfly Tent. That one's uh, worth getting. Um, but that one does come out in the vault. So don't rush to get that one. So there we go. So that is it. Um, there may be one or two things that um, I may have already unlocked on this account. But yeah, hopefully that's helpful. And yeah, ho hopefully it's helped you make some decisions about what to get in the store and prioritise what you're going to spend your donuts on. So there we go. And also, I must mention that tomorrow I'm going to be doing an extra video unlocking Strongman Homer. So yes, stick around for that. And so before I go, I'd like to remind you all to check out the LOR for crew. Because for just £2.99 a month, you can get early access to my videos before anybody else can see them. You can get loyalty badges and member only shout outs. And also, it would be amazing if you could check out the Simpsons Tap Tap Lounge Discord server. Because there, there's an absolutely lovely community of people. There's loads of things to get involved with, including giveaways and town designs and competitions and, and loads more. And that also reminds me, I've got to give a massive shout out to the Winterworth and the Slapstick Festival for being LOR for crew members. And also, if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and good.